What I want to talk about here is the idea of somatotopy. Somatotopy. Or alternatively, it's sometimes called um, topographical representation. Now, this sounds complicated, but actually it's remarkably simple conceptually. What the basic idea is, is that for every part of the body surface, there is a corresponding part of the central nervous system. And furthermore, generally, adjacent body parts are represented by adjacent parts of the nervous system. So let's start off by drawing um, a person. So there's the head, uh, the, the arms and the legs. You can say I'm not a natural artist, but it works. And now just let's think of these three regions, the head, the arm and the leg. So the head has various receptors that communicate with first order sensory neurons. There's our first order sensory neurons, which in turn synapse upon second order sensory neurons, which in turn synapse upon third order sensory neurons that project to the cortex, the sensory cortex. So here is the sensory cortex. Okay. So we said that this is the primary or first order sensory neuron, this is the secondary or second order sensory neuron, this is the tertiary or third order sensory neuron. And you should recall that the first order sensory neuron has its cell body in the dorsal root ganglion, generally, that the second order sensory neuron has its cell body in the dorsal horn or the medulla of the brainstem, and that the third order sensory neuron has its cell body in the thalamus. So we've got three orders of neurons there and we've talked about the pathway going from the head. Now the upper limb has got the same kind of thing going on. Okay, so there's that. There's the second order neuron, third order neuron to cortex. And the lower limb has got the same broad arrangement. So what you can see from this is that this system is really nicely regimented, well-ordered um, and logical. Let's think about if it wasn't this way. So let's imagine a scenario where, say for example, the information from the lower limb got to the cerebral cortex via this kind of route. And I'm just drawing on the broad trajectory here. So imagine that that route... Um, that I've drawn in red was the way in which information got from the lower limbs to the primary sensory cortex. The big problem with this is if we compare this trajectory in red with these nice straight parallel trajectories in black, you can see that the disordered trajectory wastes a heck of a lot of building material. This disordered trajectory uses a lot of axon and a lot of myelin compared to the short parallel pathways running in a topographical manner. So this is the basic idea behind somatotopy or topographical representations, that if the nervous system keeps its structure ordered and reflects the structure of the body, then it can minimise the amount of building materials that it needs to use. Now there is a second important point about um, this um, system and that is that in going from um, this point here from, from, from the body and the peripheral nerves to this point here at the sensory cortex we have conversion of the sensory information and what I mean by that is this at this level here the nervous system deals in the currency of dermatomes. Okay, so it is the pattern here is dermatomal. 
So we've got the dermatomes of the upper limb, the dermatomes of the lower limb, um, information carried by spinal nerves and, and, and going through various limb plexi. At the level of the cortex, the information at the level of the cortex is dealt with in terms of the sensory homunculus. So what is going on when we go from first order neurons to third order neurons is a conversion, whoops, sorry, is a conversion from dermatomal pattern to a homuncular pattern. All right? So that is another role that structures um, in the dorsal horn and medulla and the thalamus have. They are also involved in the conversion of this information from the dermatomal pattern, which is that recognised by spinal nerves, to the homuncular pattern, which is that recognised by the primary sensory cortex. Okay, thank you for listening.